I am Luca Monari. Uh, today we will see how to surf any website at work when it's not allowed. Um, the easiest way, of course, is using a mobile connection, but it's uh, expensive, uh, slow. And uh, the solution is useful also when you are in a foreign country and you need uh, that a site believe, to believe that uh, you are at home. Uh, what you need? You need uh, for this project uh, um, uh, a connection at home. Then in you need a device uh, um, wind where you can uh, install an SSH uh, server. Um, the best way uh, is to if you have a router that is compatible with uh, DDWRT, it's a free software, a great software that I suggest. And um, uh, the, this software uh, supports a huge uh, list of devices that you can find here. Um, I have used uh, on a device that is not compatible with uh, DDWRT another free software road attack this one um, in this way you have to try in this case uh, you have to uh, check if your router is compatible and then uh, install and uh, you have to uh, execute uh, these two commands uh, I have done this work on a, also on a Freaksbox for example installing Dropbear and um, in any case I can tell you that uh, if you have to buy one, a device that is compatible in, with uh, uh, one of these uh, softwares, uh, you have to spend just uh, 30 40 dollars or perhaps n no more. Uh, more, you need a USB pen drive and uh, on this uh, pen drive you have to copy uh, PADI free and uh, Mozilla Firefox portable edition um, another note you have to use Firefox don't use your don't you lose your time uh, because uh, it's impossible to uh, uh, to complete the, this project using another browser um, more you have to create uh, a dynamic dynamic DNS uh, account for free for example on the, the uh, DNS uh, dot com uh, site uh, and you have just to follow the instruction in of your router and uh, that's all. Uh, the idea. You are at work. Uh, usually there is a proxy here with a filter. With this filter you cannot surf the net. So uh, you will run uh, PADI. PADI will uh, open an encrypted connection uh, with the proxy. The proxy for sure will not block your connection because you are asking for an IP that is, uh, is not uh, the IP or how to say that is a d dynamic IP so for sure will be allowed and uh, the connection will arrive uh, on your router and the router will forward your request to the net and then back and uh, everything will be encrypted. Uh, so uh, we will go to see the live uh, demonstration. Uh, what uh, you need here is to know the uh, IP address uh, of the, the proxy. Uh, so you have to go to Internet Explorer, uh, Tools, Options, Connections, and then you have to check the IP address uh, of the proxy. Um, you should find uh, uh, 
an auto config uh, configuration file um, and you are just uh, here you can find the the complete uh, uh, documentation but uh, you are just to open and uh, uh, remember this number in this case uh, as you can see proxy this number you have to uh, write somewhere and uh, because we will need uh, uh, later here we are here you can see the uh, Firefox uh, portable edition uh, you can s as you can see it's uh, exactly like a normal Firefox uh, here you can download it here here there is a uh, the list, a uh, huge list of devices that are supported uh, uh, that um, the DWRT supports as you can see is really huge here you can find the, the uh, devices that are supported by RotorTech also huge a huge list of devices if you are uh, lucky you have to buy nothing here <coughs> you can download the paddy and now let's mm, let's go as you can see refresh as you can see here now I am in Moscow hmm, and uh, this is my IP address okay now let's go I have to run paddy here I have to put uh, the um, dynamic uh, host name that uh, I got SSH here here I have to change the default port it's extremely important then you have to go here tunnel here you have to choose a port it doesn't matter for example this one or for example but it doesn't matter hmm? for example in this case this one dynamic here then you have to add hmm? one more step if you have uh, uh, a proxy in your company you have to go here you have to choose um, HTTP here you have to uh, to put uh, the IP address um, I don't know for example um, this one but uh, and uh, here the port for example this one okay um, here you have to put a username and password that you use to log in to your PC um, in this case uh, I have no proxy so I don't need it don't need it so let's go open uh, here session okay here is my router is asking for username and password And here we are. Now we have to go to Firefox here. Options. Here the port that you you have chosen. Now this is my new IP as you can see it's different from the previous one IP to location now we have to put
IPTAP here. As you can see, the new IP is from ROM. Exactly what uh, what we want. Um, the last uh, thing uh, is that um, you have to remember. Uh, let let's close it now. Doesn't matter. Can close in this way. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, you have to remember that if you save the configuration uh, in uh, Paddy, this configuration will go to the registry of the your PC. So um, later, at a later time, the uh, the someone should discover that uh, uh, you have uh, used uh, this uh, this method so if it's better that um, you don't uh, don't save the session in party if you want to send me an email please do so at video at and uh, that's all thanks for watching